Hey, so this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you seven ways to use Play-Doh in a fun and creative way. Play-Doh is truly one of the most versatile materials and can be used for many ages starting about one all the way up until kindergarten. A lot of us have it on hand and if you don't, it's really easy to make it. You can make it flavored, you can make it uh, small good, you can add your own colors. Now, uh, I am homeschooling my two children, three-year-old and a five-year-old, if you're new here, and I share lots of ideas on homeschool activities, just fun play-based activities, how to get the wiggles out. So if that's the kind of content you're looking for, click that subscribe button and follow along. And now let's get started. The first activity is three-dimensional geometric shapes with play-doh and sticks. I also have a few geometrical uh, shapes as a reference. It works on several things. First of all, you're learning the shapes, and the second part is actually manipulating Play-Doh, and that is what it's such a great material. Because you have to strengthen your hand, you have to fine-tune your skills to be able to make balls, to roll it, to push it. So all of the activities that you'll see in this video work on those. We started building pyramids first because they were much easier to build. They have a square base, and we also discuss what's the same between the square a pyramid and a cube. Well, it has squares on the bottom. So uh, it is a very fun way to learn the shapes and practice your fine motor skills. The second activity that you can successfully use Play-Doh for is letter formations and number formations. In this case, Baby Justin has uh, enlarged numbers and we are working on numbers one through five. And it's not as much for him to write it, more for learning how to manipulate Play-Doh and put it in the right way. With Scarlett, I do a letter activity and this activity for her is just a fun practice to memorize the sounds because she's learning how to read and with her we do pretty much sound practice anytime we do the letters. Another fun way to use Play-Doh is patterns. In this specific case, I drew like a hybrid between a train and a bus for Justin, and we were pushing the Play-Doh as the wheels just to get him a little bit more interested in, he in the work. And I would ask him, okay, so that was light, then dark. And what do you think is gonna come next? And also I made him roll the smaller balls to practice the finger strength. Dark? Are you sure? Light? Dark. Light? Dark? <laughs> if your child is new to the concept of patterns, I recommend starting with two mm -hmm. colors dark, and then moving on orange, to three. Light? Dark? The next way to use the Play-Doh for developmental activities is cutting. I talk about it quite a bit in my video, so I'm not going to spend much time on this here. So again, make sure your child is holding their wrist the proper way and they can cut away and roll the snakes and that's a great fine motor skills practice. The next way to use Play-Doh is hiding the beads. This is actually a counting activity and also a new take on the beadwork. We pull out the number out of our mystery bag and then Justin needs to hide the appropriate number of beads. I know I said it was eight uh, Play-Doh activities, but I'm throwing in one extra one for younger children. It is color matching. You can do the same with the beads or the sticks, just have several colors and then let your child put in the matching sticks. You can also use Play-Doh for making art. This activity is great for a bit older children, like three-year-olds might not respond very well, but we did this one for Earth Day and Scarlett was doing a map. We discussed the continents and oceans, and then we discussed the deserts and the forests. So that way she was using um, green and yellow to represent those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content of this kind. We are posting lots of homeschool vlogs and sometimes just family routines and all that fun stuff. All right, I hope to see you soon. Bye.